Daniel Love, you're to be on Jeff my TN. You? You're a funny guy, aren't you? Am I? Yes. Oh, well, good. Thank yes. you, I suppose. I was laughing a lot throughout the film. Oh, wait, oh good. Well, that, that's like me being funny when someone else has written for me. But thank you. I'll you're take the compliment. naturally funny. Ah! Yes! Oh, yeah! Thank you for being so oh. gracious in victory. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my number. We should hang out. Yeah. My boyfriend will be worried about um, what happened to me. It's finally a rom-com which we can, a lot of people can relate to. Is that why yeah. you said yes to the role? I mean, it's one of the reasons I, I wanted to, like, I haven't played like a, a contemporary character ever in my career really, so it was um, it was very nice to, to play just like a modern, normal guy. Um, and then also, yeah, you know, it was a really, it was a really funny script and a very smart one. And I, uh, you know, I, I just, as soon as I read it, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. You look fine! And you got your kit off again. I mean, is that in the contract? Yeah, it's not something I insist on. It does just happen again and again and again. I don't... Thank you! Um, I, it's, it is just that I... It's, it just happens and I don't say no. Once you've done nudity on stage when you're like 17, you kind of care less about doing it on film. And when the directors tell you, right, you're going to be getting naked again, are you in the gym doing squats? What's your routine? I mean, like, you'd probably fit in, like, a couple of extra gym sessions maybe along the way, but not, like, you don't go mad. You know, I, I do that kind of all the time, so it's not, it, it, you know, there shouldn't need to be too much of a brushing up before a new scene. Although I have, like, I'll be honest, like, some days when you know you're going to be, like, topless on parry, you do, yeah, you do a few more setups. You are naturally blessed, though, aren't you? And, yeah. and your characters are hopeless romantic. In real life, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a I lady? did actually surprise uh, my girlfriend with a, like a trip to New York, with me surprising her in New York once, uh, I flew over to sort of be a nice surprise at the end of a week. Um, but uh, but I, the surprise got ruined on the night before I went out because she'd had a really crappy day, I guess. And so I was like, oh, no, I'm coming tomorrow. So I couldn't keep. I, I messed up my own surprise. Oh, Dan, you're such a you're the dream boyfriend. Oh, great! Thank you very much. You really are. Cheers. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations. On thank the you. Girl. Lovely thank to meet you. It's very easy to be cynical about love until you've had that instant connection. If you're lucky, it happens once in a lifetime. Yeah.